So I wanted to first uh, spend maybe a minute or yeah, maybe a minute to do the Ujjayi breathing, especially in regards to the fact that some people didn't join. Um, as you remember, the very important thing in all breathing exercises is to keep your back straight. So I encourage you to sit either I'm sitting on the floor, but this is not necessary. If you're sitting on a chair, scoop yourself closer to the edge of it. So it's easier to maintain your straight spine. So if you if it's difficult for you to sit at the edge of the chair, then place a small pillow behind your back so that you're not leaning and then collapsing in your spine. Okay. I'm going to remind you that Ujjayi breathing is based on narrowing the back of your throat and creating um, and breathing through that narrow passage, which very often creates a sound um, traditionally said to be only heard by you, but sometimes it could be a little bit louder in the beginning. So we're going to inhale and exhale through the very narrow passage that we create by constricting the back of the throat. Um, does, does anyone have any questions? Um, maybe let's start, as I, as I taught you uh, last, last time, you put, imagine that this is a mirror and you're trying to create fog. And that's, that constriction in the throat that happens when you do that is, is the, the exact way you should constrict your throat when you do ujjayi breathing. It is taught in the West to do the same thing when you inhale, but we're not going to do that because we're not going to breathe through our mouth. But I think when you, when you notice how it constricts, you will be able to do this also breathing through your nose only. So let's do this for maybe 30 seconds. Okay, close your eyes. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe gently, gently squeeze your shoulder blades together and then let them go. And now become aware of the soft, natural way that the air flows in and out of your nose. And when you're ready, constrict the back of your throat and inhale and then exhale. Allow your breath now to flow naturally in and out of your nose. Noticing any sensations that are present. Okay, open your eyes if you had them closed. Going to try one more time with the share screening. So today we are going to speak about another very exciting uh, pranayama practice. Sorry, one more moment for the share screening. Okay, this this particular method is called Nadi Shodana Pranayama. Um, not sure if you remember from last time, nadi in Sanskrit means channel, pranayama means purification. So literally, 
This particular technique means channel purification. Um, it is very interesting that uh, I, I just find it fascinating how the potato method is um, very similar, if not the same in many ways. Um, if you think of um, Buteiko method, it also is very connected to the vital force, which is prana, that we're trying to regulate. And the same in this particular practice. It is um, um, it uses um, alternate nostril breathing to regulate flow of prana, flow of chi in the body. It is related to specifically two channels, and I and I um, have a little picture here. If you want to look at it, we have the main channel, which is along, which goes along the spine, and the two additional channels uh, kind of wrap around the main channel, and they end at our nostrils. Um, there are two of them. One is connected to the sun. Uh, energy, which is the energy, a uh, very muscular energy, very, um, it embodies sun and it has heat effect in the body. It is linked to left brain function and is associated with external action, external energy and intellectual pursuits and reasonal thinking. Um, and the, the left nostril is connected to the um, moon energy, which is the feminine energy, which is has a cooling effect to the body and it's connected to the left side of the brain. I'm sorry, the right side of the brain. And it's connected to imagination, intuition, and subjective decision making. So emotions. So once we um, start exercising and trying and regulating the um, the flow of prana through different nostrils, we are regulating the flow of prana within the body and these channels. Um, it is said that we breathe through our nostrils non, not in equal ways. So sometimes there's more air going through one nostril, sometimes there's more air going through the other nostrils. But this particular exercise, it regulates the flow of prana equally on both nostrils. So it balances these both energies of sun and moon within the body. Um, I'm going to explain now the technique. Mm, you know, but the benefits first. Um, so as with all breathing techniques, the directly affect our nervous system. And if you look at the previous diagram, it shows how the flow of prana direct uh, is connected to also our nervous system uh, with the brain. So if you are able to balance the flow of prana, you are also balancing the nervous system. It brings a feeling of calm and centeredness. It reduces stress and increases mental focus. And you will notice even a few minutes of this particular practice will calm your mind quite instantly, in my case. It relieves depression, lowers blood pressure, low down the rate heart rate, and stimulates creativity and optimism. I like that a lot. These are just a few things that I was able to find, but I'm sure there are more specific ways to implement this. It is, in general, a very wonderful technique to calm your mind. So the technique is very simple. It is imperative to sit straight because then the channels are nicely open and we can stimulate the flow of prana in the perfect way. Um, there is a specific way that traditional texts describe how to close the nostrils. Uh, we're using our right hand the index finger and the middle finger are folded and then brought in front of your nose and you close your right nostril with the right thumb and the left nostril with your ring finger. This mudra is called Vishnu mudra and it also is connected to how the fingers are connected to the right and left side of our body and the moon and sun energy. Just want to mention this, but it's not really that 
important at this at this moment. Um, for the purpose of this meeting, we're going and it's it's just an initiation sort of to this to this practice, which is very um, very profound in many ways, and it's practice usually before doing asanas, so the physical um, physical yogic practice of the body, uh, and before meditation, which I find very interesting. That you know, in order to Start the meditation it's good to reconnect and center yourself through the practice of alternate nostril breathing we're going to do three cycles of exhalations through the left nostril and inhalations through the right and then we'll pause and then we'll do three cycles of exhalation through the right nostril and inhalation through the left one uh, it's very important that you don't uh, that you keep your head straight. So don't lean to the head. Your hand should be raised so that you don't have to go towards it. Of course, we're going to breathe di diaphragmatically. Sorry. Uh, let each exhalation and inhalation be the same length, but that's that will happen automatically. So don't focus on that. On that. The most important thing is to breathe very gently, slowly in a very relaxed way. So there is no force for breathing and no retention of breath. And um, I'm going to demonstrate this first. And if you will have any questions before we start practicing together, we'll have time for that. Look, so can again, you I'm up stop sharing your screen so we can see sure. you? Sure, absolutely. Is it good? So we're folding our uh, index finger and our middle finger. And I'm going to demonstrate inhalations and exhalations by my left hand so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so we inhale with both nostrils, close the right one and exhale through the left, switch, so close the left, inhale through the right. And then we're going to pause. And then we're going to do the opposite thing. So inhale through both nostrils, close the left one, exhale through the right, inhale through the left, exhale through the right. And all of us will be doing this in our own pace because we breathe differently. So. I'm not going to regulate when you have to switch. You will switch by yourself. Just count. Um, it has to be three inhalations and three exhalations. Any questions? Is it clear how to do this? Yes? OK. So let's start. We'll take a few seconds just to relax. So before we start, let's just close your eyes and reconnect with your breath again. Make sure your posture is proper. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Feeling the air going in and out of the nose. Maybe noticing a hint of coolness when you inhale and a hint of warmth when you exhale. Now bring your right hand in front of your face, bend your index finger and middle finger, finger. Inhale through both nostrils and then close your right nostril and exhale through the left. Very good. When you finish three cycles, come back to that state of relaxation with your closed eyes, just observing the flow of air in and out of your nose. Mm -hmm. 
Noticing when the breath starts, when it ends, when your inhalation starts, when it ends and your exhalation starts and it ends. Noticing a pause after the exhalation. And let's do this one more time. So bring your hand in front of you, bend your um, index finger and your middle finger. So prepare. This time we're going to start with closing our left nostril. So breathe, inhale through both of your nostrils. Close your left and exhale through the right nostril. And switch. And take a pause to relax. Very good. I think that's all we have time for, unless there are any questions about the technique.